My name is Daniel McCrum and currently we're in the Dynamics Lab at Trinity College Dublin in the Civil Engineering Department. So um, what I'm doing is I'm currently studying for a PhD in uh, Earthquake Engineering is my particular field. So um, what I generally do is I'm doing testing and I'm doing numerical modeling at the same time as well. So what we do is on a computer we model the majority of the structure and then physically with an actuator we test one critical part of that structure and the key part of, of, of the hybrid testing is it's kind of cost effective because we don't have to um, we don't have to build an entire structure and test it we test one part that critically is very difficult to model on a computer and we get that information is fed back into the numerical model and it kind of continues going in a loop as we do the test so it's um, it's a very innovative and it's a very new form of testing um, there would be only maybe a handful of, of locations in the world would have the, the same test facility. In the real world, well, for example, that test system, we're using it for earthquakes, so we're using it to design a building to resist an earthquake more accurately. So this can come in where you, you design, you have design codes, and the design codes help people design buildings to resist earthquakes. So we hope to improve a little aspect of those codes. But in the real world, the test system can be used for automotive industry, it can be used to test bridges, it can be used to it, it, it has kind of a wide-reaching kind of applicability, not just to civil engineering. Um, and I do know other automotive engineering companies do use that as well. So, I mean, it is quite a broad, broad way of, uh, of testing things. The idea of a PhD is um, you're slowly improving the body of research so that maybe 10 years ago, um, very few people would have done a hybrid test. But now, at this time, people are starting to do them because it has developed over the last 10 years in particular. So the whole idea of a PhD is you're building on, on knowledge and that's what we hope to do is um, get this test system up and running and then future people can come in and test different things, you know. Well, wh what drives me on is um, I'm very interested in structural engineering and um, so for myself it's a little bit more um, selfish I suppose as in I find this very, very interesting so I want to keep doing this. I kind of feel the work that I'm doing I feel like I am contributing so the work also I find it very challenging so when I do find a solution to something um, I do get kind of my own satisfaction from that you know and then as the whole project will come together um, and hopefully I'll have some some very good and very solid kind of conclusions I'll have felt I've given something to knowledge towards structural engineering which is something I have a huge interest in so I suppose that's the kind of the best way to put it well, for me, when um, I did my undergraduate here and then left for three years and then came back, so it was kind of slightly alien to me coming back. I, I'd forgotten about Trinity to a certain extent. So then when I came back, um, particularly in, in this department here, um, I feel there's a kind of a real community between the postgraduates and the staff. Um, you're not kind of looked upon as just someone doing a PhD for someone. You're kind of, you're part of the, the whole team in Trinity Civil Engineering. Um, and I find it kind of it's kind of you feel part of the whole thing so I wouldn't say we're coming in every day just to finish your PhD just to get a qualification and then we move on you know and I think we make I've, from my undergraduate I'm still friends with numerous people and from my post from this research as well from this time in Trinity I know I will be friends with people from years to come as well